earned $17.32 per video watching TikTok videos on your phone. It sounds great. It sounds easy. But stay to the end of the video because I got a big warning for you on this one. Don't fall into the same trap that I did. I like to check out channels that are in the same niche that I am that have more visitors and more subscribers so I can learn from them. And I'm learning all the time from really fantastic entrepreneurs that are out there. And I include uh, Gerald here as one of them. I think he's very sharp and I've learned a lot actually from, from his videos. So I was coming in here, I came here to his YouTube channel and I like to see like what's popular. And this is a great thing to do for you as well. You know, let's just see what's working and what's not working. And so I came here and I looked at popular videos. He's got a bunch of them here. And then now he's got this one earned seventeen dollars and thirty two cents per video watching TikTok videos on your phone. I noticed it's only two weeks old and it's almost as popular as some of his most popular videos that are two years old or one year old. So this must be a really hot topic. And I can see why, because this just sounds so easy. Earn $17.32 per video, just watching TikTok videos. Most people are doing that anyway, Aww. so why not get paid for it? So what happens is he comes here and he starts off the video and he shows all these, these payments coming in. So where are these payments coming in? They're coming in from a site that I absolutely do not want you to sign up on but I'm going to show you the site. It's this site called shrinkme.io and it is a link shortening service. I'm going to another warning. Don't sign up on this site. Don't sign up. Okay. All right. It looks great. It's got what it is. It's like a service like bitly, which is a link shortening service, but instead you get paid for the amount of views you generate. So you put your link that you want to shorten, just like tiny URL or bit.ly, like any link shortening service, they have like a really long ClickBank link and you want to shorten it. This will shorten it for you to a nice neat link. And then you go ahead and spread that link all over the internet, promote it. And they give you money for, for the amount of views that you get. So this is what Gerald is showing. He's showing all this here. Okay. And that's all fine and good. And, you know, I believe that they do pay and that that's great. And this sounds like a really cool website, but here is the problem. All right. I'm going to show you that at the end, what the problem is. Now, obviously I assumed there was some advertising component. Maybe, you know, you read, you redirect the URL and it has a little pop-up or overlay ad. Like I've seen there's sites like there's uh, sites like Snipply where you can, that are legitimate, where you can share blog posts and you can put a little overlay like this with your own call to action on it and still send people to different blog posts. And I thought it would be a site like that, where there would be like a little overlay. And uh, so they generate advertising revenue and you get paid a portion of the advertising revenue. Well, shrinkme.io is not the same as Snipply or other sites like that. It is very different. And I'm going to tell you that at the end of the video, I'm going to show you exactly what happened. So here's what Gerald explains to do. He says, basically to come to TikTok and look for super high trending videos. For example, he uses car crashes, you know, because they get millions of views and you can go to Google trends and search what is trending and what's getting, uh, 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 you know, millions of views on TikTok. So you can come here and you take one of the videos, you look for ones that have a lot of views. Here's one that has uh, 6 million views and you come here and you take it and you find the URL of it and you shorten it and you come here and you take everything out after the question mark. Cause before I even recommend this stuff, I actually go do it. So you take it, there you go. That's the video and you shorten this URL up here using the shrink me dot uh, io again don't do it then you go and you create a uh, screenshot of this so you take a screenshot here and you use the snipping tool and you make a little screenshot and then you go take that you put that in canva and you're going to post that to pinterest so you go to canva you create like a car crash um like a picture for Pinterest that's, you know, in Canva will give you the right size and everything to do that. I'm not going to go into a whole tutorial on that, but
but that's what he tells you to do. Then you go to Pinterest, you click create, you create a pin, then you, you add your picture. Then you come here and you add your shrink.me redirect to the TikTok video. So I'll just put this here and then you post it. But what's going to happen is you're going to get this notice. Sorry, we blocked this link because it may lead to spam. They're right to block this link, folks. Again, do not sign up on this site. I'm just showing you this as an example. So sorry, we blocked this link because it may lead to spam. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to use it on here. But so what you do is you take a bit.ly link and you put your shrink me link in a bit.ly and that will work. Now I'm not going to do it here, but basically you take this shrink, shrink me link, uh, and you put that in a bit.ly link, you shorten it again with a bit.ly link, and then it'll work because, uh, Pinterest has blocked shrink me rightly. So, so the concept is you set up all these videos that are on, uh, TikTok, you put them on Pinterest and you create your car crash, um, pins, and then they get tons of views. And then the shrink me site pays you for the uh, views. And I bet they would pay you. This is what they're paying for thousand views. And it really does sound good. There's one problem and I'm going to show you what that problem is. When I tested my shrinkly link, I got all kinds of pop-up windows coming up kind of expected that that's okay but i mean lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and then i get this site and my computer was completely taken over i heard this beep 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 beep, beep, beep constantly you know and you get it is a total scam you got this phone number that you got to call then you call these guys and they're in india or something and they make you kick your credit card to try to unlock your computer well you know i just restarted the computer and got it and got out of it but this thing completely takes over your screen, right? It's a, it's a, a well-known scam. So those are the type of links that they have on shrink me. Those are the type of advertisers that they have on shrink me. So this technique does not work this way. And I think Gerald should maybe take a look at that. Maybe when he did it, it wasn't working this way. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because I think he's a very smart guy, but Definitely do not sign up on the shrink me site and definitely do not fall for this. There are legitimate sites where you can use other people's content, uh, uh, for, you know, and profit from it. And it's a win-win situation like, like video tap. You could take a YouTube video and turn it into an original blog post with AI. I did a whole video on that and I make my videos creative commons so you can use my videos with my permission to sell my products and services and you can use video tap on my videos to create your own blog posts so that's a win-win for both sides it's legitimate and you could do that so that works i've done videos on that and there's sites like snipply where you could share other people's content and put like a little call to action on it so you're sharing their content so it's a win but then you have your little call to action on it as well it's a kind of a win-win situation for for both people so there are legitimate ways to do similar type of techniques but definitely stay away from the shrink me site shrinkme.io that was a disaster you do not want this on your computer it's very unsettling so this video is just a heads up about this site and Another thing too is, hey, I think it's a good thing that I test every single technique before I do a video on it, right? I'm going to put a more legit site up here. I didn't even like looking at that. I test it. So before I recommended that technique that Judd was showing, I was going to test it myself. And by testing it myself, I found out what the problem was. So I think there's a lesson there as well for everybody. Before you start teaching a technique, test it out yourself. Don't just take... Uh, you know, a YouTuber's word for it. Again, no disrespect to Gerald. I think he's a very sharp guy and there's a lot to be learned from his videos, but you know, even my stuff, test it out. And if you see things that are going wrong with anything I'm doing, you know, let me know as well. All right. So thanks so much. If you found this video valuable, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, and share this video.